Managing contacts in your Connect2Go account is extremely easy. Just click on the Manage Contacts button. And when you have no contacts, just create new contact. Here, enter the name of the contact you want to be shown in your list and choose either email or SMS text message. Here, we're going to set up an email. Just type in the email address and click on Add Contact. This sends an email to that contact with a PIN number and a quick link. That's why you see here it says Rob is not verified. That's because the quick link has not been clicked yet or the uh, PIN has not been entered as well. Here's the email that you'll receive. It gives you a PIN number or just a quick link. If you click on this quick link, your account will be verified, meaning that contact will now be receiving messages or is validated. You can also just take that PIN number that was emailed to you as well and go back into your account. Click on Enter PIN under your contacts when they're not verified. And just simply put in the PIN that was emailed to you. Click on the Submit button and you'll see Success. And now you notice Rob has been verified. It doesn't say not verified afterwards. So let's do this with a cell phone. Let's call this one Rob Cell. And we'll click on SMS for text messaging. Type in the cellular number and choose the carrier from the list below. and click on add contact. Again, you'll see that Rob's cell phone is not verified. This is because a, a text message has just been sent to Rob's cell phone with a PIN number. Simply again, click on the enter PIN, type in that number that was sent via text message, and you'll notice that now Rob's cell is verified. Now that your contacts are set up, you have to assign devices to those contacts. So for Rob's cell, in this example, we're just going to enable, and as you can see, all three of my devices in association with my Connect2Go account are on the left side. I chose the Invisalink 3, my alarm system, and Rob Cell is now going to be notified for whatever I check off here. So I'm going to check off just alarms, arms and disarms, and we'll leave it at that set the alerts remember you can always go back to your manage contacts and to the assigned devices and modify any of those settings so let's go back into modify and here you can see our settings are still in there but now we want to go in and maybe check off network supervision or a line cut notification and just click on set alerts again and those are saved. So now let's enable, uh, let's go back to manage contacts here. Now Rob's email address here, we might want some things sent to Rob's email address. So pick Rob and let's assign some devices. Again, all three devices in association with your Connect2Go account have showed up. Let's use the CG120 tracker in this case. And we're going to send Rob's email just notification on SOS alerts, battery alerts, meaning if the battery gets low on the unit. And that's it for this example, and we'll set those alerts. But remember, we can always go back and click on the power on off alerts, the overspeed alerts, or the geofence alerts, and set those as well. And here, what we'll do just for this example, Rob's email is also going to get messages for the security system. So we're going to set alarms and that's it and we'll just set those so Rob's email will get alarms on the system but Rob's text messages will get alarms disarms arms as well as network supervision or line cut important thing to remember is that once you add contacts you must associate a device to notify that contact